What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Video Games. My name is Juan. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. This week's video is going to be about the games coming to retail the week of September 11th. We have uh, three expansions in two games. There's a couple of the ones I was deciding if I was going to include or not, but the games, I just couldn't really confirm the release dates for them and didn't want to just kind of put them in there to put them in there. Later this month though, I believe I will be mentioning those two games. Let's continue on with the video and let's go on about the games that we are talking about, yeah? Three expansions. One of those expansions I am extremely excited for. If you've been watching the channel following along, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. And also, there is a, I guess, the most anticipated game, I guess, coming out. I don't know. It's definitely going to have a lot of hype and a lot of buzz around it. I just hope I can get a copy of it before it goes out of stock everywhere. And I'll mention that game, of course, and I'll bring it up here shortly. I think you're going to know exactly what game it is the moment I mention it. So, let's get this video going right away and let's get a quick update. So... Quick disclaimer, uh, I mentioned the games coming to retail in the United States. So if you have seen these games, I highly doubt, actually these specific games, I highly doubt you have, but if you've seen these games somewhere out in the world in a different part of the region, content created by co content creators, that could either be, either be because they got an early copy or the game hasn't released in other regions. Uh, however, also keep in mind, uh, the shipping crisis is still going on. So we, there might be delays. And if there's delays, I'll definitely make sure I update you on the delays of the video on the delays of the game on its respected week, new release week. That way we can make sure you're updated and kept up to date with any kind of changes or any happenings that have happened with the retail releases. Yeah, so if you're a publisher and you want your game featured in one of these videos, please reach out to me the Friday before your game's release week. That way we can make sure we have all the information and details ready to be presented on its respected video. It helps me a lot as well, having things done last minute definitely does affect things because now I'm rushing and rushing leads to bad quality typically. But we can try to provide, provide the best quality here we can in QVO games and that's what we're doing. So let's get this video going and let's get talking about the games. So first game coming out is going to be on September 12th. It's the expansion. It's going to be on Monday, which is today for you guys, tomorrow for me, Power Rangers deck building game RPM. So Power Rangers deck building game. I think I've talked about this game many many times uh it's actually a really really cool game i got to play it a couple more times i'm starting to get more of a hand of it so i can just start doing more inter like more reviews and detailed information about it so rpm is just going to be an expansion including the rpm rangers as well as some new villains added to the deck added to the game in general this is about the there are about at least four or five expansions and so far the game's actually a really really good game i like it a lot my i wish there's actually a series of these games or ips that uh, right, Renegade Games is releasing really, really, really cool stuff going on there because there's uh, the G.I. Joe one, the Transformers one, which they also have expansions coming out. This one specifically, I wish they had a cooperative version. That would be amazing. I would love a cooperative element added to Power Rangers deck building game. That would be awesome. I like playing the game. So I, what I realized is, is the game is just for me, it's a lot of nostalgia, of course. So please take this maybe with a grain of salt. I might be a bit biased, but I love the game so much. I love Power Rangers. I'm reading the comics and stuff. I'm getting, trying to catch up and get back to that nostalgia I used to have. But now with more like a, I want to say older content, I guess. I wouldn't say mature, just older <laughs> per se. So Power Rangers deck building of RPM is going to include new masters, which are the villains, and then new rangers as well. So the rangers are going to be, of course, the RPM rangers. I'm not too sure what your abilities or skills are, but it's definitely a really cool game. Just to explain a little bit more about the, 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 the way the game works, essentially. So it's a head-to-head -head game, right? You have your side and the enemy side. One player plays the Power Rangers, and the other players play the evil or the masters, the villains. And then your whole goal is to basically knock the other opponent's, knock the opponent's health dial down to zero. And the way you do that is by collecting different cards and attacking them directly. And of course the enemy has like blocks and they can equip different items or different abilities. That's kind of how the game basically flows. There's a grid in the middle and it's called the power, the power grid, I believe. It's actually, I believe it's the power grid in the middle of the, of the in between both you and the players. And you go in there and you attack either villains or rangers if you're the masters or vice versa. And you just go in there and attack. So. The game, yeah, so you go in there and attack. Uh, so the game itself is going to be, the expansion is going to be coming out tomorrow, September 12th. It's by Power Rangers Deck Builder Game, RPM, Getting Gear Expansion. Coming up next is going to be September 13th, G.I. Joe Deck Building Game, Shadow of the Serpent Expansion. So the G.I. Joe game plays a little bit different. It's actually going to be a cooperative experience. And you're, this is going to add a couple more missions and more villains you can battle and fight throughout the game. I wish Power Rangers had a little bit of that. 
that would be so cool to have like maybe a, a campaign or story element but that's why they also have heroes of the grid which is a different power just again that they're still releasing a bunch of content for so i can see the distinguishing the distinguishing there i think they also have a gi joe miniatures game coming out as well i think they do have it so basically the deck building game same thing there, there's going to be a row of cards where you can where you and your friends can purchase cards and your whole goal is to attack the enemy in the middle and try to deplete the health so very similar gameplay eh, similar ish it has a little bit more different stuff going on with it so this one's going to come in with i actually didn't mention two new missions a new main deck cards including joe's utility items weapons and more so new uh, new main decks 13 cobra cards eight complication cards four leader cards one expert mode card 36 36 mission cards five commanders and tiles really cool it's going to be the shadow of the serpent expansion i love what renegade games is doing with these with these ips these are really nostalgic stuff for a lot of people and i love the fact that i get to experience that with power rangers so shout out renegade games that's awesome Coming up next on September 13th is going to be Transformers, a deck building game, a rising darkness, and this is also an expansion. Hold on. Yes, an expansion. Did I get this wrong? Your car. Free. Actually, this. No, this is an expansion. I'm sorry. You do need the core game in this expansion. I almost thought I got this wrong. Yeah, so it's an expansion. It includes Decepticons now, so you can play as Decepticons. Play, yeah, is it Decepticons? Oh, yeah, so it's a standalone expansion. Oh, yeah, I was, I was correct. Okay, I was getting this right. So it is, it's a standalone expansion. It's a standalone expansion. So you can actually just buy this one and play as a Decepticons now instead of the Autobots, which in the other uh, Transformers deck building game, you play as the Autobots. And you go up against something called the Grid. So essentially, you explore the Grid and you start battling different auto, like different types of Autobots and stuff, trying to gain points. Actually, hold on, not points. Do okay perfect so this one does include the team versus team expand so team versus team so now you can actually go up against like a 2v2 like power rangers does so it's a cooperative and a competitive element now added to this it's not points it's definitely defeating them and depleting health as well so it's like i said pretty straightforward it's that there's a grid in the middle that you're going to be attacking you're going to be attacking to collect cards and add to your deck and then you're going to be using these cards you're using to build up to attack the enemy very straightforward game transformers deck building game arising darkness uh, coming up next by Kids Table is going to be Power Plants. So interesting enough, Kids Table usually specializes in more like easier, easier table games or like less complex games or low complexity games. So Power Plants is going to be a game where you're playing as a wizard essentially, and your whole goal is to try to plant your magical plants. It's an area control style game with some tile lane. So right off the bat, uh, these are going to be the pictures I have here to show you guys on their website. Look at those tiles. That looks really cool. I like the fact that it's not just like a piece of cardboard, but maybe like a wooden piece. That's really awesome. And your whole goal essentially is to area control, of course. And do you have different abilities that you activate? Oh, it's a trailer. Did this is automatic start playing. Awesome. Well, that's fine. We can show you a little bit here. So if you look at it, it's going to be your player board. And they each have different abilities, of course, that you can do with each one. It's going to be not asymmetrical because it's, each plant is accessible. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's going to be. Actually, no. Well, let me make sure about this. No, I don't think it's asymmetrical. At least unless I'm wrong here as well again, so I apologize. Uh, this is the tiles, yes, of course. No, so each specific tile or color tile does something. Okay, I was right. Yeah, so each color tile does something specific and that's how you do that. So I guess the asymmetry more in the tile lane, I guess, or the tiles themselves. Not really, actually. No, it's definitely just going to be just the tiles each have a different ability they do, and you activate the plants or the soil to do different things for you. So it's a pretty simple, straightforward game. More kid-friendly, of course. Kids Table, they make kids more style kid board games. I recommend checking it out and looking it up yourself as well and grab some information about the game. It looks really cool. They came out with a really big, good game that's been really popular right now currently, Creature Comforts. So definitely have something to look at with Power Plants. Kids Table coming out September 13th. So this is the big one. <clears throat> Twilight Inscription by Fantasy Flight Games. This is probably my, probably not just mine, but everybody's like most anticipated game of the year right now. I did not, I was not completely aware it was coming out until about maybe closer to Gen Con. It's basically Twilight Imperium, the game that everyone dreads playing because it takes 12 hours to play or even like, a, it takes a whole day. Now it's going to be a roll and write and it's going to be a more condensed experience two to three hours. <clears throat> my voice is going away. <clears throat> And it's going to be a roller ride game for one to eight players. You can even play solo as well. I want to show you a couple of pictures because it's massive. So these are going to be your different boards. You're filling out four different boards at a time. They're going to include all 24 factions from Twilight Imperium. And they're, each faction board is going to start off differently. 
everyone has a different goal and the way to kind of flow when they're playing the game. So no, they basically kind of promote that not each game is going to be the same. So a lot of variability with the game itself. Really, really cool. I actually have more pictures here. This is going to be so awesome. I really want to play. Oh, by the way, it's coming out September 16th. Forgot to mention that. September 16th is uh, going to be officially out. I am so excited to play this game. I'm trying to find a copy ASAP or pre-order it, but a lot of the people who I, all of the retailers I know aren't going to have it day of, unfortunately. I really want to have it day of to play it on this this upcoming weekend, basically. The game looks awesome. It's a basically a roll and write. You're going to be filling out different starts. You even have AI, so you can even plug in an AI to play against you guys, which is basically their whole goal of the AI is just to ruin you and go up against you. A lot of conflict between you two. That's their goal. They don't really score points. It's just to affect you and, and make sure that you don't score enough more points. So the game so far looks really, really cool. I mean, this is a massive, that's going to be people's different, there's different faction boards, how they all start out. Uh, these are going to be your four boards, depending on the faction you play, they can all be different, of course. So it's going to be a roll and write, Twilight Inscription. I am really excited for that. I'm excited to see how it holds up against even Twilight Imperium. I'm playing my first game of Twilight Imperium within the next month and a half, two months, and then I can finally compare the two, which is kind of exciting. So that's going to be all the games for this month. Um, <clears throat> my voice is kind of going away. I think I need some water. So let me know what you think and let me know what you're picking up this month or what do you, or this week, this week. Let me know what you're picking up this week. I said that earlier as well. I meant week. Let me know if you're going to pick up any of these games. Let me know if you're playing any of these games already, like the Power Rangers game, the G.I. Joe and Transformers game. I am religiously collecting all the expansions and make sure I have all of them to play. So that's kind of my thing right now. And I have played two expansions so far. Love it, love it, love, 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 love it. Super, super good. I love the game a lot. I can't wait for them to kind of expand more and maybe make something that's good for everybody. So yeah, let me know if you're picking up any of these expansions of the games and let me know if you're picking up Twilight Inscription specifically and let me know your thoughts on the game once you play it. Come back to the video if you can or message me or email me or DM me. Let's get some conversations going about games and I appreciate you for making it this far. And if you have made it this far, thank you. That means a lot to me. That helps a lot with the channel and I love doing what I'm doing now and I would want, want to continue doing this and growing this with you guys all, with all of you guys. So I appreciate that. Thank you for watching the video. My name is Juan. See you later.